Howdy! Texas A&M AgriLife is embarking on a new journey to improve websites. This video will help you as a web manager or contributor improve your website content. What does web content really mean? Well, web content can be referred to as the words on your site, but it really includes anything that's not design structure like photos, forms, faculty bios, banners, descriptions, buttons, stories, news, and more. You know the person that says we need a new website and then they just slap a new design on top of the same words? We're pushing for better here at AgriLife Communications. We hope through this video series you will learn new techniques and practice them on your website. Thanks for the time. Stay tuned for more videos on how to improve and write web content. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for joining us again. In this video, we'll talk about how to improve web content. You may have great content, but that doesn't mean people will read it. On the web, in the hustle and the bustle of click this, flow format has a lot to do with how easy your content is to read. If people can't easily find what they're looking for, they'll usually leave your site. In this video, I'll give you some tips on maximizing your chance of being read. Less is more. Reading on a screen is harder than print. Why? Even though you may not notice it, the computer screen is constantly flickering, which is hard on your eyes. It's also farther away than you typically hold a book, increasing strain. Look for paragraphs you can cut down, transition statements that can be cut out, and sentences you can eliminate or shorten. A few good tips are to keep your paragraphs to 10 lines or less, sentences to 20 words or less. Concise is good, but remember, understandable is better. Don't shorten for the sake of conciseness. Make sure the audience can still understand you. Maybe you're not sure if your content is too long. Here are a few pro tips. Are you scrolling more than two screens? It's time to break up the content. Identify which sections and paragraphs can be on their own. Highlight the important. Ask yourself what is the most important piece of information on this page and is it easy to find. If people can't find what they're looking for, as said before, they'll probably leave your site. So put your most important content first, and remember your titles should make sense when read by themselves. A few ways to highlight important content is to put your most important in informational sentences and paragraphs at the top of the page. Write descriptive headings and add bulleted lists to break up large chunks of text. Other ways to highlight important information is to bold important words or phrases, create separate sections or paragraphs for important information, and or illustrate with graphics, pictures, or pull quotes. Thanks again for the time and feel free to reach out with any questions. In this video, I'll be telling you how to create web content. If you're not sure where to start, I'm going to give you a few tips. In this video, we'll cover answering the who, what, why questions, determining the content you have and what you'll need, making an outline for the website, whether it's a new one or you're updating an old one, choosing an expert, determining a plan of action, developing a template, creating due dates for your team, and revising content. Who, what, why questions. Think about who your main audience will be for the website. Which one is most important for the audience? Why do you think they'll visit the site? And what the site will be called? And what the web address should be? Literally write down these answers for these questions. And if you're working with the AgriLife communications team, please share. Determine what you have and what you need. For existing sites, you'll need to determine if you have content that is still relevant. For example, you may need to change dates or names and determine what information you can reuse. Make a list of content you wish you had, but don't have yet. This will help you figure out what you need to create from scratch. Determine what you have and what you need for a new site. You can start by looking over any marketing materials and pulling out themes or features that they have. Next, develop a strategic plan where you lay out your target audience and the mission of the site. Make sure you know all of the teams your new site will need to be evaluated by. You may find there's required content you'll need to add. Making the outline for the existing site. Determine if you have a page that already exists for each section on your outline. For example, you could have a home page on your outline 
and you may be able to use the app existing homepage and make changes if needed. Which brings us to the next step. What are you keeping from your existing site and what are you deleting? And what do you need to add to the outline? For example, you may need to add a news page instead of manually adding news stories to your homepage. This would be a good time to add this page to your outline. Making an outline for a brand new site. You can be formal and start in Excel spreadsheets or you can hand draw a site outline. Give each section a heading to help you organize the theme. List a subheading for each item and make sure the outline matches the needs of your most important audience. For example, if you're an academic department with a high priority to recruit new students, your website should have information about degree programs, rankings, and campus life, not HR forms and tenure and promotional procedures. Sure, your site may need those, but they shouldn't be the most prominent item on your webpage. Choose an expert. An expert is anyone you would call if you had a question about a specific topic or page. It's not necessarily the person who writes the content or the department head, though. Think of it as someone who has expertise in something you may not have. They'll help you with any sort of specific information you're writing for your site. Now you'll need to determine a plan for how to develop content for each section. Options to consider are you will write the content and have the expert review, the expert will write the content and you will review. You'll interview the expert and write the content, or a mix of you and the expert writing content. Choose the option that will work best based on each individual's workload and schedule, and think about your overall project deadline. You can develop a template for each section on your webpage, so the author knows what the information you expect. See the link video to see a template in action using Gather Content. Create due dates for the first draft of each page and assign to the person who will be responsible for each page. Remember to update the AgriLife communications team on your progress. Revise. Have one person who is a great editor review all the content and make sure everything sounds like one person wrote it. Automatic spell checkers are great, but they don't always catch spelling er errors and definitely don't catch many stylistic and factual errors. Make sure the information is accurate and current. Look out for dates and make sure that you are all current and the correct contact person is listed. Thank you all for your time. I've linked more resources in the box below the video. As always, feel free to reach out to me.